Okay, today I'm going to be making an elephant card that I welded on my Gypsy. And um, the image I'm using comes from the Zubaloo, and it's the elephant. And what I did for this was um, I, I pulled it out, um, the image out, and I hid the inside of the elephant features, which was the eye and the trunk and the um, ears. And so when you do that, I won't cut anything else. I'll just cut the outside. And then I welded the center together. And I'm sorry for that glare. Um, it's from the light up above. And um, I cut this one out at five inches. And then what I did is I um, turned it around the other way so that the tail would match on both sides. And I welded it together. And then the next thing I did is I cut out the image just like it is in the book, in the handbook, and I cut that out of a striped glittery paper. And then the next thing I did is I hid the um, trunk. Um, this layer had the trunk and the ears. I hid the trunk because I only wanted to cut out the ears, and I did that on the gypsy. Um, and then the next thing I did is I um, got Paisley, the cartridge Paisley, and they have this really cute little envelope in there, and um, I cut that out um, at uh, one and a half inches, and, um, and then I also cut out the flap. I had a very small rubber stamp, um, clear rubber stamp, and that was, I found that at Michael's in the dollar section, and this works really well to, for the envelope. The other thing I did was there were some flowers in the Paisley cartridge and I cut those um, flowers out in a set of two um, at two inches on the Gypsy. And then the other little white dots that you see there are going to be the center of the eyes. And I think I've showed you this before. What I do is I get my really tiny um, hole punch and um, I punch that first. It's like for brads. And then I come back with a larger punch and I punch over the little hole that I made. And that's what gives you the little holes in your eyes. I'm going to put it together. I wanted to show you this again um, of what it looks like in the gypsy. And I don't know if you can see it really well because it's hard for me to see my screen. But the part that's red is what's going to be cut out. This minute went back out again. And the um, gray that you see in there is what I hid. And in order to do that, you have to go to your advanced um, tab. And when you go to the advanced tab, there is a button in there. And um, I'm going to do that a minute, so I'm going to turn this off and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm in my advanced tab. And um, I'm going to try to point right here. That is the hide button. And if you push that, um, your image will come up and things will be highlighted. And you just select what it is that you do not want to cut out. Um, a lot of the current images give you a little bit more option in doing that. And, um, sorry, my screen went out again. They give you a little bit more options um, in terms of um, each individual line. Um, the older cartridges don't seem to do that, so you just have to work around that, and that's what I did for the elephant. In order to give my elephant a little bit more dimension and not all one piece, like in layers, for the, um, like how Creative Critter has a little bit more of layers, what I did was I went ahead and cut this bottom piece off. That gives you um, your layer, and in, um, in order to do that, the lines aren't completely cut through. It's kind of like a stencil, and so the, the if you want to call it the cheek part of the elephant, and um, really close to the earlobe, I had to cut through. If you turn your image over, it's easier to see, at least for this particular paper, it's easier to see the lines and where I wanted it to continue. So the cheeks aren't perfect, but again, I think that gives him a little bit of character. And um, all I have to do is put it together now. Okay, so I just added the cut layer that I made for my elephant card. Okay, I just added the ear, the inner ear layer to my elephant card. I thought I'd show you, this is what I was talking about when I go to make my eyes. I already cut the 
very tiny hole using my brad um, hole punch and now I've got this one centered over that little hole there's two holes here you can't see the other hole because it's centered over it and then I'm going to punch that out and I'm going to end up with two eyes okay so I've just put um, the lavender it's a dark lavender um, eyes on top of the elephant and um, I've also cut out black the first thing I did is I had cut out black and my daughter said to me it looked like a punk elephant but I wanted to show you what the difference was between the lighter um, lavender as opposed to the black um, eyes and this is what it looks like if you have uh, the black eyes instead of the actually it was a dark lavender um, so just to give you a little bit of a of a choice the other thing I did was I added the flap to my envelope and um, I just have to finish this off and my card will be ready okay I just added my envelope underneath the trunk of the elephant and my card is finished